there are two models that Ricoh currently has available for the Ricoh Theta. One is a Z1, which is great for live streaming. It can stream in different ways. The other one is the Ricoh Theta SC2, which is $300. Uh, this is not suitable for live streaming in most cases. The SC2B at 329 is identical to the uh, SC2 for the purposes of streaming. Uh, there would be no difference. It can only stream in Motion JPEG, which I'll explain soon. The Ricoh Theta V, which was comparable to the Z1 in terms of streaming capability in most cases, is $380. Unfortunately, it's no longer available for purchase. And so uh, this is quickly becoming not an option for live streaming with, with the Ricoh Theta. So we're going to focus on the Z1 for this explanation video. I'll also touch upon some of the capability of the SC2, which is quite limited for streaming. This is streaming hey, hey. from a Z1. Hey, hey. This is using mobile 5G from a wireless streaming plugin with the Z1. This is an example of a ice skate rink where you can see uh, amateur sports um, played from the, the live stream. One of the interesting things of this stream is that uh, you can see that it's seven hours, uh, 13 minutes and 10 seconds long. So one of the things with a, a live stream is that you can make the video quite long uh, for maybe sports or surveillance or things of that type. On the left, you've got the SC2, which is selling for $300. The SC2 can only stream with motion JPEG over Wi-Fi. It's a lower resolution. The maximum it can stream at is 1024 by 512 at 30 frames per second. So there's no way to stream over the USB cable. It's Wi-Fi only. The Z1, it's much more expensive. It's a thousand dollars. Understand it is a lot more expensive than the SC2. It could possibly be, be a game breaker for you. The Z1, however, is much better at live streaming. Over a USB cable, it can stream 4K at 30 frames per second. With a plug-in, the Z1 can also stream, there's different plugins, 4K, 30 frames per second, uh, using um, different, different types of processes, but you can stream it directly to YouTube or Facebook if you want to. The Z1 can also stream at Motion JPEG, similar to the SC2. However, uh, this is only for the live preview. Both cameras, although the SC2 can stream motion JPEG, they're only intended for the live preview so you can kind of see what the scene is on the mobile app prior to taking the shot. It's not designed for experience or entertainment purposes in either case for the motion JPEG. The Z1 does have the capability to provide uh, entertainment or surveillance over both Wi-Fi and USB. However, due to the price difference, there have been a number of hacks to get the motion JPEG capability of the SC2 to provide some type of surveillance or experience. Thanks for joining us. We'll be making a series of videos covering the Z1 and the SC2 live streaming capability. Again, our main focus will be on the Z1, and we'll cover things like how to uh, configure OBS, so you can have the live stream directly into uh, your computer and push it up to Facebook and YouTube and other places. It's going to be a lot of fun. Subscribe to the channel. If you like this type of video, give it a like. And we'll know what to produce next. Have a great day.